guest Steve Butterfan TV, back on Teesside. I have Paul with me. We've been beaten 2-1 away at Sheffield United. Paul, what are we going to do, mate? Well, it was another Norwich for me. Sending off first half. Um, just didn't get it together the first half. Lacked passion, lacked drive, lacked desire. And then guess what? Second half, they show everything. If they'd have done that first half and they do that for the rest of the season, what they did in the second half, we've got a chance and we'll have a chance in the playoffs against the likes of Fulham and Villa that are going to be the toughest teams in the playoffs. He brought three on at half-time, Fabio and a sombre longer we haven't seen much of. Why, why didn't he change things at the start? I know they say don't change a winning team, but it does need freshening up, Paul. Yeah, Fabio, superb, came on. He was running after balls up top that Fabio, uh, sorry, that uh, Asen Belonga should have been running after. He's a world-class player. We need to get him sorted. We need to find out what the problem is with him, and we need him in that team. Asen Belonga, personally, I prefer Bamford. Um, there was just more passion, and I thought that passion came from Fabio in the second half. I thought he drove it. We, we leave on 65 minutes to set the equipment up, Paul. Yep. For 20 minutes in that second half, also down for Johnny Housen. What? Why don't we see more from Johnny Housen like that, like driving into the box? He didn't do it the first half. He did it the second half. I'll be honest with you. I'm not a big Housen fan. Biggest issue with him is any footballer should be able to pass a ball. He can't do that. He just can't pass the ball. And most of our attacking play breaks down just in that sort of that final third with wild passes from him. Second half came to life because of Fabio. Paul. Thanks for coming on Butterfan TV. <laughs>